Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. I have a really, really cool collaboration video with I am Jacoby. He is a PowerShell god and he's also currently the number one ranked hacker on Hack5. Um, he has recently made a uh, worked on the series for a PowerShell for hackers a repository he's working on is super, super cool. Um, and one of the functions within his PowerShell for Hackers repository is a Discord upload. So I figured it would be very appropriate to feature that code into this uh, this kind of series of Discord from Hour. Now, before we actually jump into the collaboration, make sure you guys check out cosmodiumcs.com forward slash courses. You guys can check out the full course of Discord from Hour where we're teaching you guys how to use the Discord API for Hour. Super, super awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the collab. Wait, what's up, Jacoby? Hey, yo, what up, Cosmo? How we doing? How we doing? Bro, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, been putting a little bit of work. Uh, so yeah, I got this uh, Discord upload function finally finished. We had been messing with it for a while, but it just wasn't executing properly. I went ahead and like compacted the whole thing down into a single function, so it's just nice and easy to use. This is the function right here. It just takes two parameters. So we have the file parameter, uploading files. We got a text parameter. You can either upload just text by itself, variables, or sometimes I use it as a header for the regular files that I upload. You can use both of the uh, parameters at the same time. You want to put in your own uh, Discord webhook URL. Uh, you can look up how to do that. It's not hard at all. And then the rest of this is just formatting, sending text through, and then sending the files through. So um, we'll go ahead. Um, what we're going to do is I'll show you a quick little text upload. So we'll do the upload discord function, do the text parameter, and then we'll do something like uh, sub to cosmodium. And you'll see that that was sent through Ooh. down in the discord right here. Mm -hmm. So you can send through just plain text if you want to. Uh, additionally, however, uh, if you wanted to, you could also send through variables if you're going to be, you know, running some kind of function and pulling it into a variable. Uh, just as an example, this is my quick uh, Wi-Fi grabbing function. It's used to grab the Wi-Fi profile, so all the SSIDs and passwords. It's going to save it to the Wi-Fi variable. Uh, so that's there right now. So again, we can just go ahead and do the upload to Discord. It's still just text. And then we'll just pass in the Wi-Fi variable. And you'll see down here, it'll go ahead and send those through, the profile names, the passwords. Oh, yeah. Uh, none of these are real. I just made them up <coughs> for the sake of saying. Oh, shit. Um, Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And then finally, as well, you can use it. You can use it to upload files, which was the thing that was a little bit harder to figure out, annoyingly. Mm -hmm. But we we eventually pulled together and got it. So we're sitting here on the desktop. I have an image, and then I have the same information saved in a text file. So we'll go ahead and send through the Wi-Fi.txt. Um, pop through. You'll see that popped up down here. Now, when you're sending regular commands or text, It'll send through using the name stored in the uh, user profile environment variable. So mm. it's Jacoby, same as you see up here with user. Uh, if you're sending through files, it uses your webhooks uh, name, whatever gotcha. it is. This is just the random one that I left in there. Um, so that file will go through. And then as well, you can um, do images. Uh, and then if you want to go like extra far, I, you know, I have that one function I have where I can store information in the pixels of an image. So I've used that sometimes first, stored the information in the pixels of the image and then uploaded the image. That's just kind of fun little extra thing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit this send through and you'll see that my oh, yeah. logo also popped up down here in the discord as well. Uh, this is just one of the cleanest, quickest exfills there are. Uh, there's, you know, no time limit on the, you know, the API keys. So it's one of the benefits over my Discord one that I did, or I'm sorry, my Dropbox one that I did first. Mm -hmm. You know, those only lasted for four hours. Um, so this is really nice. Uh, 
and it's just nice to uh, finally have it together. I've been incorporating it into a bunch of my uh, other payloads that used to just use the, the uh, Dropbox function to give people some options. Yeah, it makes it a little bit more uh, like versatile. I like that. Actually, could you show the uh, the just pull up the repo if it's possible, the PowerShell yeah, for hackers because yeah. I think that's yeah. way too cool of a repository to not bring up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, this is the PowerShell for hackers repository. This is where you can find it. I have a PowerShell to Ducky script converter. If you make your own payloads out of these, you can go ahead and make your payload in PowerShell, run it through my converter, and it'll format it over to ducky script so you could put it directly onto any ducky enabled device obviously the ducky omg devices the flipper it works on all of them these are all the different functions that i do have um some of the you know fan favorites detect mouse movements are really fun <laughs> um, you know, invoke web request ns lookup is one of the coolest ones i think i've ever done um Every single one of these comes with a video tutorial. So even if you're not fully comfortable with the process, I will walk you through it in a video. Um, so Dropbox upload, the Discord upload, and then the last one I just did was getting browser data. That is to get the, uh, the history of any browser or the bookmarks stored in the browser as well. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I pretty much just put this together so people can... Uh, kind of have modularized um, functions to try to build their own scripts or their own payloads from scratch. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You kind of made like a Lego set out of PowerShell because <laughs> you can just yeah, like yeah. build it together to make crazy payloads. Like you, yeah, for yeah. example, you could combine like, you know, the, the browser data and then like the uh, Discord webhook and like, add, like straight XFIL and stuff like that, the advanced recon and all that. Um, yeah. I think that's, that's awesome. Very awesome of you to pull this together. I look forward to making some pull requests in the near future. Uh, it should be it should be moderately interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking forward to some pull requests. I haven't actually gotten any pull requests into this repository. I had Uber help on Uber help out early on, so he is listed as one a contributor, and then he made some corrections to some typos. So technically a contributor, but <laughs> no one's technically no one's technically submitted a function yet. So oh, uh, I look forward, forward to, to it. yours. And then if any of you guys go through and you see something, and you know something you'd want to add, do a pull request. I'll have to reformat it because you know I'm I'm really uh, uh, picky about how these are formatted. Uh, you know, just going into the Discord upload. You know, I just have it set up a certain way. Mm -hmm. I do a video for each one. If I do a video of one that you make, I'll definitely credit you. You'll be credited in here. The one that, um, you know, Uber helped me out with uh, initially was invoke web requests. And, you know, I made sure to give him his credit right here up at the top. Just examples of each uh, payload that uses it. A breakdown of the function written out. And then again, a YouTube tutorial if you do need that extra little bit of help. Yeah, that's awesome. And the, the YouTube series as well on the uh, repository is amazing. If you guys uh, have some free time, definitely check it out because you will learn a lot of cool things about PowerShell, even stuff I never knew about. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm i not like a PowerShell god or anything. Uh, I think Jacoby has easily yeah. taken that title. Uh, so but these it are is... all the videos. It looks like I accidentally put one in here at some point. That's hilarious. So I got to pull this guy. Got to remove that. That's not supposed to be in there. But yeah, yeah, you know, I got all these and I'm continuously adding, um, I'll be adding another one in two days. Uh, and then hopefully we can just keep it growing until it's something really, really nice. Oh, I just actually went up some subscribers too. I appreciate that. That's what's up. 19, <laughs> 19 away from 7k. Hey, you know, what? your channel will be linked in the description of this video. So you guys definitely have to check out because he has some crazy, you, crazy, crazy, you, crazy, crazy, crazy shit. But yeah, that's fucking awesome, dude. Uh, Good shit. <laughs> hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. 
um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this check out the link in the description it's only one dollar so we definitely appreciate your guys support um, anyway enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking